Assalamualaikum guys Welcome back to my channel In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys Tips and tricks on how I got four flags in Pasong Hi guys, I am Nazri Nazari I studied in Pusa Asesi Science Suti Malaya, Pasong And graduated there in year 2015 before I share my tips, I just want to put a slim order that I am no way trying to brag about my result. My only purpose of this video is to help people in need, students, my juniors, and people like you guys. These tips are based on my experience. I just want to share tips that work for me, that may work for you too as well. Everyone have their own way of learning. For your info, I have been practicing these tips throughout my foundation, and these are my results for two consecutive semester in foundation. So, if you guys want exactly what I got 4.0 for flat in foundation, keep watching. Number one tips is focus in lecture. Please pay full attention in lecture. Don't ever get distracted by phones, people talking around, discussion behind the class. If you guys sleepy, don't sleep in the class. Instead, get out of the class, get some refreshment or go to the toilet, then return after five minutes into the lecture hall. And no multitasking. Never, never multitasking. If lecturer try to explain in front of the class and you are writing, that's not paying attention. You won't understand. You won't get the point explained by the lecturer. You should stop whatever you are doing and pay attention first. Then write a bullet point what is he trying to explain in front. If not, there's no point you are coming to lecture and you are writing without listening to him. At the end of lecture, if you don't understand a certain part of the slides, raise up and ask questions. Don't be shy to ask questions. Most students tend to stay quiet, afraid that they, they are asking stupid questions. There's no such thing of stupid questions. It is always a question for students to learn something new that they don't know. Second tip is time management. For your info, schedule for students in Paso is totally packed from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. I'm pretty sure you guys see tutorials or homework from lecturers or your tutors. Don't be stressed, don't pressure. Instead, plan ahead to make a study group, one question each person, so then combine the solution and discuss, make a discussion. There is one quote saying. If we fail to plan, then we plan to fail. At the night time, after a short prayer, you spend only one hour, one hour to record all notes or do revisions, be flexible, kind to yourself, learn until what is your living. I understand PASU is the one of the toughest foundation in Malaysia, but you also have to get socialized, pamper yourself, by watching movies, by watching Netflix, go to cinema, eat outside but take care of your health, of whatever you are eating after you are done everything, do revisions, recall notes for tomorrow and sleep early to wake up early in the next morning now comes the third tips okay. revision how you want to revise First of all, do not postpone your revision, do not delay. At the end of the semester, just around the corner of the examination and you start to stress out, pressure, don't ever do that. You will cram your head, make yourself stress out and start memorizing whatever you don't ever understand. Mm. Instead, you do like this. One night, you spend one, one hour only revision, right? 
any any formula or explanations that you can understand on the sticky notes and stick on the board that where you can see every day like a cardboard beside your bed from this method you will unintentionally memorize this formula or whatever you jot it down on the sticky notes and stick on that place because you are looking at it for almost every day every single time when you know the examination is just around the corner don't ever try to do a study group you study alone first understand by yourself first take your time okay like a few days before the examination start then you can make group discussion to solve questions from past sales question and then you will get the input understand whatever your friends trying to say whatever you are trying to say and please be kind and teach whoever that don't understand the question how to solve it then teach them teach them in a polite manner now let's recall back the three tips I share to you to get four flat in also first focus focus in your lecture second your time management third your revision don't ever study at last minute okay guys last but not least I want to wish all the best for you guys in your examination your foundation or even degree you can practice these tips in order to achieve four flat or a higher CGPA if you guys have other study techniques or suggestion for me to create in another video leave in the comment below if you think this video is really helpful please drop one of these and subscribe for more videos in future bye guys Thank you.